Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so we talked about the fact that when we are naming our variables, we have to give them meaningful names. So, for example, number of books, right, is equal to 12. So we said um, we should give them meaningful, uh, meaningful names like this, but then it's, this is a bit hard for us to read. So we looked at underscore, um, using underscores to try to create a variable so that it can become readable. And this is you know, perfect. Another convention, a very popular convention, is what's called camel case. And camel case is where you keep the first character of your variable name as, as, you know, as lowercase. And then you keep the first letter of any other word capital as, um, as a capital letter or basically uppercase. So, for example, number is the first word. The first character stays lowercase. Off is the second word. The first character becomes uppercase. And then books is the third word. The first character of that becomes uppercase. So the reason why they call this camel case is you see the, the, the hump of a camel. It goes, you know, something like that, right? Something like that. So this is also something like that. You know, it, it raises over here at the O and comes down and raises over here at the B. So it looks more like the hump of a camel. And that's why they call it camel case. So this is also another naming convention. If you don't want the underscores, if you wanted to keep the characters together without spaces, but you wanted it to be a bit re readable, you can use camel case where you keep the first character lo uh, as lowercase and the first character of every other word. So um, yeah, or, or, yes, of, of every other word as uppercase. So it's not something like this. Another example would be number of oranges, right? Uh, let's say 15, or you can do something like full name, right? The first character stays lowercase. Any other word, the first character becomes uppercase. And I can use a, you know store a string in here as Atakakura Vitom Hanan. Uh, All right, so and we can print any of them. We can print, for example, full name, and we can see it works. All right, so this is another naming conventions for naming our variables, which help us keep our variable names, um, first of all, um, e easy to easy to read, right? But then an another reason why we, you know, we do this is to give ourselves our, our variables meaningful names. All right, so if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. Okay, then, bye-bye.